Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the Honda VTR 1000 SP2 right here in Donington Park. Now this bike was from the Superbike 2000 DLC that came out a few days ago. And this is the Golden Age Group Trophy Group in Ride 4 Career Mode. So I just wanted to test this bike out, I've not used it yet. This is the very first time of me using the VTR. And I can honestly say this bike is incredibly smooth. It's extremely smooth power delivery with fantastic gear shifting. I'm impressed. I really like this bike. I think it's great. Uh, the only upgrades I made to this bike, I do believe, is I took off the mirrors and the uh, the rear license plate thingy majig, and I changed the exhausts. And I think that's it. I don't recall actually upgrading the bike, but if I did, I did. But uh, I can honestly say I really like this bike. I was really impressed with it. So this is just Donington Park, a nice easy time trial just to get the blood flowing, to get the blood pumping. Then you see the stuff as we, oh, a little bit of a moment there into the S's, but it's quite alright. We're still thrashing along quite nicely and we'll be absolutely fine. As we now turn right with a very, very tight Melbourne hairpin. Good stuff so far as we're going to rock it towards the rumble strip. Good stuff. Keep an eye out for the rumble strip on the right. You'll be using that as a guide to turn left. So into Goddard's for the final time. We're going to be firing it down to the Bridgestone sign for the final time. And the only time we're going to get there because it's, this test is passed. So now we're going to go racing right here in Brands Hatch. Starting from 6th place in the grid and we away we go. But look at Valerie Tremblay! Wow! Look at Rocket on board that Ducati 1098. Now the only reason I'm not dropping to the back and letting the pack fight through is simply because of Valerie Tremblay. I mean, look at the speed that she got on board that Ducati. And again, her exit speed is phenomenal. So this one's going to actually be a good old-fashioned ding-dong for the battle to, to win this Grand Prix of Bronze Hatch. We're going to be giving everything we've got here 8 o'clock. This terrific track. 20 degrees at 8 o'clock in Bronze Hatch. Whatever. It's never been that warm. As we now fire it out. Getting into the slipstream doesn't even matter with Valerie Tremblay. But she's clearly faster than me and clearly faster on that Ducati. And actually, I've never seen Miss Tremblay in uh, Ride 4, so if that's a new one, I'll take that. Valade. Now breaking in for the right hander of the Westfield Bend for turn 6. Now, this is where we get close enough to say we can stick into the slipstream. It's the start of the, tr the corners and start of the tracks. The those first couple of corners! Oh my goodness, massive moment there. It's where we do lose a bit of ground to Tremblay. We're going to have to keep doing what we can, but as you can see, it's look at that. Like a rocket. Seven tenths of a second quicker, but the so the VTR has superior handling. The VTR can really get into those corners, can really get out of those corners. Just when the throttle gets fully opened, Tremblay disappears into the distance. So into the Paddock Hill Bend, we have closed up. Still not quite in slipstream range, but if we keep getting it good on the brakes, we should be able to close in on the French lady. She runs a little bit wide there for Druids. We can possibly have a little bit of a nibble here. Is it possible? I thought, I thought about it. But it's not going to be good enough into the Graham Hill bend. I'm going to try... Look at that speed! What can you do about that speed? That's what you can do. You can really close on the brakes and bump her. Oh my goodness. Big mistake there. I thought she was going to accelerate. She clearly had the line to. But uh, she didn't bother, and now we've lost all that time. Regardless whether we're four seconds up on the first lap, it's... Tremblay's acceleration on the Ducati is just absurd. The Ducati is sweet. It was nice that they chucked this Ducati in for a good old-fashioned battle, because, I mean, Peter Donnelly, who's behind, he's in third place. He's occupying the final spot on the rostrum. He's, <laughs> he's in a different time zone. He's four seconds behind. Can we have another to go here? Oh, my goodness. Valerie Tremblay defending like a pro. Defending like she's winning an online race in a live stream. <laughs> now turning right for the Clark curve. Holding it right. Oh, a bit of a moment there on the acceleration. Now going to rock it to... Oh, we're on the grass there. He's come for a little bit of a grass cut there. One tenth penalty time added to be at the end of the race. Garbage. I hate the penalty time, but I did deserve it for going a bit wide on that one. I mean, if anything, it slowed me down and I didn't really gain an advantage. There's Tremblay, breaking into Druids. Good defensive posture from, from Tremblay. Probably not even pronouncing that name right, but Tremblay it is for now. 
leading the Grand Prix of Brands Hatch. Into the Graham, Bill, Graham Hill bend she goes. Still leading for the time being. Can we hold it left for Surtees? We know we can close in a great exit out of Surtees. We're in the lead. The VTR takes over at the front. Honda versus Ducati. And Charlize Rue has taken third place. Good stuff for the South African lady. As we now hold it right for the Hawthorne bend. Fire it out towards turn six now. Breaking at the 50 meter zone. Good stuff so far. Up onto the rumble strip, but it's all good. Now for Dingle Dell. Getting ready for turn it right for turn eight. Good stuff. I think we're in the lead. I think we're going to hold this lead, actually. But for how long, especially this part here, I'm guessing Tremblay is just going to jump into 8th or 9th or 100th gear and pass past me in a second as we now go for the Clark Curve. Got some oh, contact made! <laughs> aggression! The aggression from Tremblay! That is a very miffed AI. I don't know why, though. <laughs> that was completely unnecessary as we're four seconds above anyone else who's going to be attacking to get into the podium positions. It's Tremblay. Still leads this Grand Prix on the penultimate lap. What a pass, though. I mean, that was aggression personified from Miss Tremblay. So we hold it left now for Graham Hill Bend for the fourth time of asking. Still not even close to the slipstream. <laughs> Just look at the speed. What a battle. I'm really enjoying this one, though. This is probably one of the best races I've had a ride for in quite a while. <laughs> Acceleration! It's just unbelievable. The tyres are getting so warm because of this battle. Up by four tenths of a second. This will definitely be our fastest lap if we keep that pace going. As we exit the Hawthorne Bend, approaching 9pm at the night. It's gone darker all the time. Coming around the outside of the Ducati. Oh, that's good. That's bravery. Bravery begets aggression. We can do this. So now flick it left for Sterlings. Good stuff, good stuff. Can we hold the lead on this penultimate lap? If we can hold the lead in this position here, then I think I think we've sorted it. Then we're gonna win. Oh, the Ducati is eager again. The Bologna bullet! <laughs> it's fired oh my lord. It's through again. What a lap. And we actually lost time because of that. No faster lap of race there. Was, oh, contact made again. The slightest a tap. A love tap, if you will. But it's not going to to tear her from... Oh, defensive line. Oh, I've got an opportunity. I'm, I'm going for it. I've got an idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop her now. Into the Graham Hill bend. Yes! Held her up to perfection. As Valerie. Can she fight back? Is there a way? Is there a chance? We're just going to be... Oh, we're definitely going to overtake in here, though. The gap is eight tenths of a second. It's up to seven tenths. Six tenths. Five tenths. Four tenths. Just on that straight. Look, two tenths. It went down just to two tenths after that one straight. That is absurd. That is ridiculous. Can we defend against Strongblade? What a finish it will be. What a race. Phenomenal, phenomenal battle. Here in Brands Hatch. Not even asked who's, who's behind the podium now. It's just simply a ding dong for the finish. Down by six tenths of a second in the sense of a lap time, but we're not even bothered about that one. Seven tenths of a second lead. Tremblay is not going to be close enough for that ridiculous lunge. I think we've done it. I think we're going to do it, guys. Four tenths of a second lead. Fire it into the final corner now. It's going to be good. We've done it. Victory. Victrare. Brilliant stuff. What a race. Guys, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted to every single time I upload. Because, of course, I upload every single day. And upon that note, thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you next time. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.